welcome to the 2012 NBA Finals, the American Airlines Arena in Miami, which tonight could be the site where a champion is crowned. LeBron James and the Heat, one win away from the title they so desperately crave. But this talented young Thunder team, they have other plans. Win one game tonight and watch the momentum change and a chance to go home to their raucous crowd. And for Oklahoma City, first time facing elimination in these playoffs, Durant throws it away to Chalmers. James on the break and the finish. Cephalosha remains on LeBron James, who gets inside, count it, and one. And that's two on Cephalosha. He lost where James is, as hard as that is to believe, as he went back door. Harden the runner, well short, James the rebound. We're midway through the first. James drives right at Ibaka, count it, and a foul. Miller will try another three. Back-to-back -back threes. Hadn't hit one all series in here in game five. Comes off the bench and knocks down a couple. The Heat coaching staff, they love this kid, Cole. And how tough he is. Puts up a three. Puts it in. Morris Cole does it again off the bench. And it's a nine-point Heat lead. Durant now is guarding LeBron James. Pass inside. Fisher trying to break it up. Bosch with a huge height advantage just overpowers. Harden back on James. Quick spin, drive right at Perkins, and banks it in. So strong going to the rim. James the drive. Inside the way, Battier for three. James, the offensive rebound, finds Bosch. Largest lead of the night. James kicks it out, Miller for three. Bang! Mike Miller, four for four from downtown. And the Heat lead by 15. Durant, stolen by Chalmers. Back to LeBron James, lays it in. An avalanche from Miami. It's 53-36. James is fouled. And he'll get to the line. 13 points, five rebounds, five assists already. He's five of six from the field. James again drives inside. Ibaka stays with him, and he still puts it in. Well, they switched that pick and roll the first time Ibaka got a stop. That time, he did a very nice job defending him. Durant drives and got a little fancy with a dribble and turned it over. Chalmers, good pursuit, comes back the other way. James lowers the shoulder. Chalmers hits a three. Big turnaround right there. James drives, kicks it out. Battier for three. Again, another three-pointer for the Heat in the lead. Back to 11. Timeout, Oklahoma City. Battier hits another three. Miami lighting it up from downtown. 10 for 17. Bosch down the lane. That good. And a foul. Chris Bosch. With a strong play in the lead, back up to 11. Wade throws it to James down the lane. Layup banks it in. Largest lead of the night. Timeout, Thunder. James with Durant on him. Bosch will try a three-pointer. That's good. Everything going down for Miami. A 22-point lead. Their 11th three-pointer of the game. Westbrook blocked by James. As Bosch just finds himself wide open underneath the rim. Miller, another three. Six three-pointers from Mike Miller. As James hits Wade on a beautiful cut and finishes. Wade flips it up. That won't go. Still battling for rebounds. James won't. Gets another one. Puts it up. Banks it in. And a foul. He gets his triple-double and a chance for a three-point play. He's going to get a nice big contract somewhere. You'd expect it to be in Oklahoma City as James finishing it off. Well, this team has a chance to be a force for a long time. The foul called, and now Dwayne Wade and LeBron James will come out of the game to the roar of the crowd. A 
Big smile. Certainly has to be emotional for LeBron James as Wade on the verge of his second championship. They're celebrating on the bench. So happy. It has been not your normal two years of development. Meanwhile, you talk about Howard. There's Bob McAdoo hugging LeBron James. What a difference a year makes. 2011 had such a bitter ending, making this celebration all that much sweeter. And there's the smile you look for. The Miami Heat are once again NBA champions. LeBron James captures that elusive title he so desperately coveted. without difficult choices nor ramifications for the way those played in light of everything you've been through in the last two years what is this moment like for you uh, it means everything uh, you know I, I made a difficult decision uh, to leave Cleveland uh, but I understood what my future was about and I understood that coming to Miami and being a part of this organization and being able to put together this team I knew we had a bright future and uh, you know, this is a dream come true for me. I've been through a lot in the last two years, but, uh, you know, this is definitely a way that it pays off. Your approach in this finals is in stark contrast to the guy we saw in last year's finals. What put you in a place to get back to being LeBron James? Uh, losing in the finals last year put me back in place. Uh, it humbled me a lot. And I was able to go back to the basics. A lot of people had a lot to do with it, but at the end of the day, I just looked myself in the mirror and said, uh, you need to be better, both on and off the floor. And uh, I'm happy that I was able to put myself and our team in a position to win this. Looking at mirror and smile, LeBron, congratulations. Thanks so much. Mike.